Hey guys, Ruben here. So one more final video before we go into 2014, it's uh, the New Year's Eve today. So if you've ever been to a cinema, you probably heard the THX kind of sound effect, where it you know, start to fade in and basically start to fill up the whole cinema hall with that sound. Um, not sure if you know what the THX sound effect sound like, but it's you know generally kind of my own term of saying it. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it within your door. Now you can see that I'm using Logic Pro 9 to be exact. Uh, literally an old door, it's already Logic Pro X right now. But uh, really, you do not have to get any new updated software You know, every time it releases. You can always use your old software and if it works, it works, okay? And also this uh, trick works in other doors as well, in Cubase, Ableton Live, uh, Pro Tools. Basically the concepts are the same. Alright, so here we go. Now as you can see, I can have about uh, I have about five of the tracks up here. And basically the first thing to do is to get you know a loop or a sound. So I've already choose a loop here, cinematic transistor 70. Um, the reason I chose that is because it has a rich kind of um, chordal kind of sound to it with harmonies and all that. And we want the kind of sound. The richer the better. Let's hear that uh, loop here. Okay, just before it changes and transitions to the second chord right there, ba -bam, I'm going to get the first one here. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, without that transition to the second chord, let me delete that off. See? Okay, something like that will be fine. Okay, so basically, generally, the, the richer the harmony is, the, the better. Now, we're going to open our flex time if you don't have a shortcut you can always go to view and you know flex view so from here on we're going to change this to something like polyphonic okay and now we're going to press an alternate on our key and basically stretch it by a few more bars you know make it a kind of stretch now let's see how it sounds okay perfect that's kind of sound that I was looking for. All right, so now the next thing to do is to go to your bottom left right here, bottom left, and right click, and click on speed up. Now in other doors, uh, it might not work the same way, the same uh, you know style as like this, but you can always find a way to speed up your audio tracks. Okay, speed up, and then we're gonna put in a fade. So we're gonna go to our toolbox and get the zoom, no, fade tool, sorry. Fade tool, and basically pull in a fade somewhere about half or a bit more, I like to do that. And instead of having, you know, a linear kind of curve right here, I'm going to change it to a more curved logarithmic kind of curve right there. Okay, and let's hear how it sounds. Okay, so the more, the richer the harmony, uh, the better. And I like to use a you know a major kind of uh, <laughs> you know a chord which sounds happy. So let's okay. adjust this by a bit, you know, get a better effect. Okay, so you can also increase. Uh, go back to our pointer too. You can also increase the length of this thing, you know, to give you a, a more better sound. Okay, so we get, we're getting there, we're getting there. So now the next thing to do, what I like to do is always to basically, you know, uh, make a few copies of this into a few other tracks, like this one here and that one there, and basically make some variations. So I'm going to on like, you know, monophonic and make some variations, like uh, you can also try the slicing. No, slicing not. Okay, so you can do a few things here, uh, you know, try polyphonic, medium phonic, and basically change the curves again. So instead of having the same curve uh, within all, what we can do is we can, you know, um, let's go back to our curve two, fade two here, cancel this off. And, you know, we can, we can try different things. Like for example, we're gonna push in one from here that goes off later on, 
right bottom and slow down okay and we can have something like that and you know cut fading in at different times probably this one fades in faster with a more linear kind of curve this kind of curve you know I'm not gonna put this here take this off okay and basically try different different you know different curves like this okay it might sound great it might sound not so great okay so let's audition one of them one by one let's see how this sounds okay it's beginning to sound monophonic I'm gonna put this that very very soft um, probably gonna change this polyphonic I think I like that better Okay, that sounds great. And we have one more here. Okay, so we have to put in some fades there to make it sound smoother. But basically now we have uh you know a number of this. So the next thing to do is to you know I normally off my flex view after that and you know um pan things around so let's say i have this in the middle and uh, pan this a bit to the you know to the far left and um this a bit to the far right and this probably something here you can add one more and also you have to level up the you got to level up the sound so it doesn't you know uh, overloads so you know just play around i'm not going to show you the whole thing here but you get an idea of how it works okay so here how it sounds in full Okay, so you get a kind of um, THX kind of sound effect. Of course, uh, when it hits the top, you have some kind of, you know, slightly pop kind of transition. What you can do there is you can always fit in with the rest of the audio. Okay, so that ends the tutorial of, you know, making that kind of THX sound effect. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to subscribe and also, you know, drop me a line. Um, come and visit my website at www.audimental.com. See you then, guys. Happy New Year.